What's going on everyone and welcome back. Today we are in New Brunfels, Texas, back here at Titan Factory Direct Homes and we're getting ready to check out yet another beautiful Champion manufactured home. Now this one is actually a single wide and it is super cool. I love kind of the modern farmhouse look it has going on. Uh, but this is the Louisiana. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It sits inside of approximately 1,153 square feet with a footprint of 76 feet by 15. Now this home, I love it. it the siding is kind of like a uh, hardy board siding. It's got the, the white and the black trim around the windows. And then as you move around to the back of the home, it's got a couple windows on the back side. And then you also have uh, the back egress door as well. But overall, a super nice home. When it comes to the price, this home starts at approximately $90,000. Of course, that price may or may not be the price that you pay if you do decide to make this home yours. But before we get inside, if you would like more information on this model or any of the models that we've toured across the country, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. All right, this one definitely has some, some farmhouse vibes happening. But when you first walk in, this is the view that you're greeted with, kind of split between both the kitchen and the living room. I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick, let you check out this front door. And then from there, we'll go ahead and start on this side of the home with the living room. Nice and spacious is just what I feel when I come in here. Like, it's just open, could just be due to the furniture layout. But it just, it feels nice, you know what I mean? You've got the vaulted ceilings uh, with this nice exposed beam going down the marriage line. And then you've got one window on this side. And then over here to this side, you've got another window, which both just kind of help lighten up the space a little bit. You've got this nice entertainment center. I like the columns on either side. And then you've got this almost shiplap panel uh, back behind the entertainment center as well, which is kind of cool some open shelves below it. And then as we kind of work our way uh, down the hall, this is kind of working back towards all of the secondary bedrooms. Uh, you do have your back door right here. And then around the corner, this is the first of the two bedrooms. This is the smaller of the two. And obviously they've got some stuff in here, so I'm not gonna be able to get into the closet, but it does sit right there. But the next room, the closet is about the same size, so kind of give you an idea of what that closet looks like. And then back behind us, you've got the washer dryer hookups with some storage shelves up above it. Then in between the two bedrooms, you actually have the first full bathroom. So you've got a single vanity. I like this laminate pattern. I think that looks good. You've got the toilet, and you've got a shower and tub combo, a little transom window up there. Then all the way towards the front side of the home, I guess depending on uh, what you consider the front, you've got the second bedroom. This one, I don't know if it's as wide, but it is longer, making it feel a little bit bigger. You got this window that lets in some light. And then this is uh, the closet. Both of them have about the same closet in terms of size. So that, uh, I know some people get a little upset when I don't open up all the closets, but that gives you an idea of what they both look like. But man, it uh, cruising through some homes today. We actually just got out of this blue one next door. There's another single wide. Uh, I actually like that one. Uh, is in terms of the layout, I like the kitchen, but this kitchen is so much bigger. The other one just had like a, almost like a little horseshoe style kitchen. It just looked nice and cozy. But this one, I love the space. They used the whole width of the home for this kitchen, which is super cool. Plenty of cabinets in here. I think that was the, the other thing. Here, you're using the island almost as a, a table. The other one, they had kind of a small little section for the a little kind of like a high rise table. So I think that was the difference. 
uh, but plenty of counter space. I like the black. This is the first black sink that I've seen today. Looks good though. Sitting just below the window, right next to your dishwasher. Check some of these drawers. I always, it never, literally never fails. <laughs> See, there's an empty one right next to it, but for some reason, every time, I've got to open one with something in it. But anyway, I like this. Uh, this is pretty neat too, just these little cutouts and then you've got these fun little storage bins right here. I think that's pretty fun. You've got, uh, I know there's uh, something up there right now, but you've got these barn doors that kind of open up to reveal some cabinets on this side, but then you could close them off if you wanted to. And this could be like your spice rack. That would probably be pretty neat. You've got your stove, your range hood, and then you've got the refrigerator. Then in the middle, this one actually has the island, which I do like check out the storage in the island oh yeah that goes way back there so you've got three cabinets on this side and then you've got some couple stools on this side in terms of space probably couldn't fit much more than that then past the kitchen you come into the master bedroom again i mean they're using all this space it's like you just, it feels so big in here. Really nice size master bedroom. I think this is a queen size bed. You probably fit a king size. Put your dresser over here, a little entertainment center if you wanted to put a TV in here. And then the other thing that I do really, really like about this home is that the closet, uh, which we've been seeing so much of, they're always in the bathroom, but this one's not. So this one's on one side and then you've got the ensuite on this side. But the cool thing about this ensuite, other than the fact that you've got the double vanity and the toilet is this walk-in shower. And I am a super fan of these style shower doors. I think they just look so cool. And then you've got the rainfall shower head, nice tile surround going all the way around and then just a great big shower tree too. So definitely like that. But let me know what you think about it down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model, you can find that right there at the top of the description. It'll be the first link. Or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, you can filter them down based off of a whole number of things like bedroom, square footage, price now. Um, layout, all different types of things. So definitely check that out. That's 100% free. You can also take the full tours over there. So you get to see my beautiful face again. And I know you'll enjoy that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for touring this home with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. And as always, my name is Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.